Let's go to 3A Division 2, where we have some shocking predictions for Region 1 and Region... I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Audible <laughs> guess. No. no, we don't. Um, region 1 and Region 2, I will be honest, were probably the ones that I spent the least amount of time thinking about. Yes. Of all yes. these predictions... It was probably Region 1 and Region 2 that I was like, okay, I'm going to get the pencil out. In Region 1, it's Canadian. Mm -hmm. they, like, now, I think, I think there are teams there that are pretty good, but like Canadian has dominated that region forever. In Region 2, it's Gunner. I think there are teams that are pretty good. I think a third-round matchup with Scurry Rosser could be interesting, but like Gunner has so dominated Region 2. There's just, like, I'm, I'm not trying to dismiss, like, I guess it would be 30 other teams. Right. But it would be pretty shocking, do you guys agree, if we didn't get Gunner versus Canadian in the semifinal? I, yes. yes. I think that would be yeah. the most shocking part of the playoffs. Yes. Well, I mean, I think both offensively and defensively for both teams, you can say that they've been playing pretty yes. fundamentally sound yeah. football. Oh, for here, sure. And they've, they've just been consistent. Dominant. dominant. Absolutely. Dominant. To Region 3, where we get a little bit interesting, WTF is on the Hooks bandwagon. Let's hooks. Go. You're on the hook for Hooks. Can we... Can we Thing. And I get it. Tons of speed. Tons of speed. Ish has gone with Harmony, who mm -hmm. upset Dangerfield. Uh, I don't know if you call it an upset, but they beat Dangerfield yep. in Week 11 to grab the number one seed mm -hmm. in that region or out of that district. Uh, and and certainly they were the team. They were the regional champion a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. And they have all that experience. I think he's well within his rights to take Harmony. I'm going with Newton. Me and Step are going with Newton. I think that they have... Uh, I, I think they are quietly, they have very quietly put together an outstanding season. Um, I mean, they're 8-0. They're, well, well, I'm sorry, they're undefeated, I should say. They're, which they're, they had two games that were, uh, or yeah, they had uh, a game canceled, and then they had uh, a, they couldn't find an extra, somebody else to play them. So they're 8-0. Their defense has been exceptional. We know the athleticism they're going to have. Um, I like Newton. I, so I think Region 3 is certainly the most up yes. for grabs region in 3A Division 2. Yeah, I went with Hooks because I liked that they already had wins over quite a few of these teams, mm -hmm. Harmony being Harmony. one of them. Mm -hmm. I thought that the win over Cupper was really mm -hmm. good. Um, That's and a really that was, impressive one. For me, those, both of those wins were very early on in the mm -hmm. season, and so it was just kind of one of those things like, hey, they've been a solid team since the start of the season, and they've just continued to get better and better. Um, and... I, I mean, it stinks because you, you will likely get hooks in danger field round two in the area yeah. round. And mm -hmm. so that's where I kind of went. I was like, well, I think that these are two of the best teams in the region. Whoever yeah. wins that one, I think, would be the best battle tested and able to keep going. Um, Newton definitely has the favorable draw, though. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. not wrong there. Danger field's the real X factor here because, like, they lose that game to Harmony. Like, is that one of those things that buoys them going forward it's like it's, right there are some coaches that will say yeah i don't mind taking a loss late in the season because mm -hmm. it kind of wakes my guys up certainly that could be the case but i, I just think region three is so loaded that like mm -hmm. you have to finish as high as possible and, and dangerfield as a result got a brutal draw yeah um yeah so. well and it was one of those things too last year harmony was like that cinderella team that mm -hmm. came out of nowhere i was kind of hoping i was like oh let's just keep that trend going we'll get hooks in here hooks. nothing <laughs> yeah. wrong with hooks nothing wrong with hooks well and they, then they have like one of the best like athletes i think in region three and Keyshawn wells yeah Keyshawn like, wells he's is, is, fantastic. is a, is a, he's a game dude yeah he's a game breaker, yeah for sure and then there's region four uh everyone in this room plus matt step everyone in canada took tight haven mm. um david lucio's bunch has been exceptional they've given up 14 points this season that is the true fact. Um, and they've been exceptional. Their defense has been very good, and their offense, we know Coach David Lucio is going to dial it up. Ish took Poth. Um, Poth. State, state runner-up from a year ago. They have kind of reinvented themselves. They're throwing the ball like, a little yeah, bit more. They, they realize that it's not a sin to throw yeah, the ball. Yeah, <laughs> they, they just throw the ball a little bit more. Uh, their one loss on the year was a, a week one uh, loss to Blanco, but since then they've rattled off nine, uh, nine straight. Uh, playing good football. I think I think if you want to go with Poth, you're well within your rights. Uh, I think, but I look at what Tidehaven has put together, and they to me look like the favorite. Yeah, yeah. I was I I thought about Poth. I did, and I stopped. But then I looked and I saw that they could get East Bernard in the mm -hmm. area round, and that mm -hmm. makes me nervous because I think yeah. East Bernard's a better team than people give them credit for, and that's really punch like mouth football. Mm -hmm. And Poth plays well with that but it makes me I don't think that they have the offense even with throwing the ball to outscore them if Ethan Bernard gets okay. on a, a track yeah. so uh Tidehaven felt like the safer path and I think that they're just fundamentally the best team yeah. in that region and offensively so. yeah. yeah absolutely and then in the state championship I think all of us agree that the winner of Canadian and Gunner is going to win the state or is going to be the yes. favorite the state championship four of us including everybody in this room uh took uh took Gunner 
um, step, took Canadian. I think it's right now. I I make Gunner the favorite, but like a one score favorite mm-hmm. over Canadian, and I think that that's the way it's generally gone. I mean, last year wasn't it like seventeen fourteen or yeah. twenty to seventeen something like that? Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's a it's 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 going to be close. Mm-hmm. It's these are two these these are the two best teams in three division two yep. Canadian and Gunner, and they it's all going to be leading up to a big showdown semifinal weekend. Well, and we always talk about how it's hard to tell with Gunner sometimes just how good that they are because mm-hmm. they don't get tested a whole lot in the regular season. I think we saw them get tested a couple yeah. of times and they like annihilated Brock. That win over Brock is what sticks it's in my head. It's like, yeah. oh, they're not, his Brock is not a bad team. <laughs> like no. foreshadowing some stuff. Brock is not a bad team. <sighs> yeah. Uh, that win over Brock is really what that puts it over the top for me. Yeah, yeah. it stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. There's 3A Division 2. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.